We now return to Let's Play Caves of Cud. So I've put everything in my chest, and we're ready to go to Golgotha. Now, I am not going to save until the whole thing is completed, because... First of all, uh, <laughs> I don't have any salve injectors, and I probably should actually go back to Joppa. I mean, that would just really be the smart choice, and... Uh, Go back to Joppa, grab my dread roots, make some some injectors, and I noticed I just left something up here unexplored. Okay, nothing in there. Um, I don't have many slugs. I just made a few, only about ten to fill up my weaponry. Um, <sighs> boy, I've got a very high dodge value right now, especially since I'm keeping myself under that 50% carrying capacity. So. I'm hoping this will work out alright. Basically, Golgotha is a hellhole where we can pick up not only some very, very deadly diseases, uh, but it's going to kill me anyway. But the, the diseases can really just fuck up the whole game. Um, one in particular called Glot Rot, which rots out my tongue and means I can't talk to anybody, so we can't continue quests until I find a cure. The cure is very difficult to find, and, uh, yeah. The, the most annoying thing about it, though, is that your tongue just is constantly bleeding, so you can't ever go anywhere, because it starts bleeding the minute you drink or eat. And so every time you try and use the overworld map, it's like, oh, your tongue is bleeding again. Eventually it falls out, and then you can go, but yeah, I'd really rather avoid all of that shit. Anyway, Golgotha is up there, shrouded in the rotting jungle, are the mouths of the rust caves of Golgotha, Chrome's graveyard. Go through some ruins, maybe come by and explore those later. Here we go. Okay, I see some stairs down. That is not necessarily... There's a mirthworm? No, that's not a mirthworm. That's a leech. Has a bite. So the thing about here is that there are multiple entrances, and I just saw a dude. Those things hurt. Um, another reason I should have gone back to Joppa is because I could have been looking. That was not that was not cool. The game kind of froze a little bit there. I, I could have been looking for some poison resist. Maybe I should kill this guy, otherwise he's gonna be a bother to me. I'm going to close with him and not waste my ammo because this is going to be very precious. We'll use, uh, we'll wait until he comes a little bit closer. There we go. And we'll time dilate. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, steel battle axe. Another thing about this place is that it can rust everything. So, that's another thing to worry about. Okay, so this entrance, which, thanks to my psychometry, I can just go right through. Um, I wonder... No, I think that's the, that's the switch to this door. And then here is a deep shaft. It appears too deep to safely descend, yeah. Okay, I was hoping, actually, that I could cheat and go through the end, because this is where you go when you finish. You come back to the surface and this is the, the place. Um, I was hoping I could go down that shaft and just get to where I need to go and bypass all of that nonsense. So what we're traveling around now are essentially garbage chutes, and you have to be extremely careful because once you touch one of those green conveyor belts, the green stairways, you go down the shaft and you cannot get back up until you reach the end and this is not cool. Um, damn, I, I... I can't force wall this guy because I, I don't want to shoot him. So I'll have to... Mano Imano. Jesus. Uh, okay, we'll take chain mail. And we'll sit here and heal. Now it doesn't help me that these guys are out here. So I want to try and clear this place. 
mostly so I can go to the overworld map without having... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... Okay. Wasted two slugs there. Really wish I didn't have to do that. But yeah, if there are enemies around, I cannot go back to the overworld map. So it's best to kind of clear out the place first. And if nothing else, maybe I can find some goodies that they've got. Okay, it looks like... Looks like that's it. So each of these openings will actually lead to a different location. And... Uh, some of them you can get out of, some of them you can't. I went through here with my true kin character, and one of the shafts led to... Basically, it was, it was a death hole. Like, there was absolutely no way to get out of it. It was full of monsters, and it had these uh, ducts or shafts or whatever. And they had uh, some duct crabs or whatever they were called. They were constantly coming out of them, and there's no way to destroy them. So there was just... I was... there was absolutely no way. So I'm going to save here, and from now on, we're going to do this whole thing in one go, because if I fuck up, it could really mess up the whole, whole thing. And I know, you know, this is sort of how the game is meant to be played, and I'm almost willing to bet that you're meant to pick up a disease, <laughs> because it, it seems so common. But frankly, I think that's going to slow down the Let's Play, because I'm going to end up spending episodes trying to find all the frickin' ingredients. So let's go down, and hope for the best. Okay, immediately, there is a Scrap Shoveler. Now, I don't think I want to stick around here, because we can easily get surrounded, but... From what I've read, it's actually best to go through and just not explore and pick up what you can. There's a good treasure room at the bottom, so that'll have to be reward enough. I could, you know, if I kill that guy, he'll probably drop something. Uh, that red wall right beside him, however, is a flame wall. I want to avoid that. And we go right through pools of acid. Yeah, you can see. Hopefully I can make it through them. I, I will stop to pick that up. Okay, so, black gel. Uh, this place is full of gels and oozes and other nasties that can poison you and really just fuck up your day. Now this thing says it is tough. I think I'm going to time dilate, pick those things up, and run down the shaft. So I'm going to grab that. There's another ooze over there. I just made it out of the fire. Pick up that fractured microchip, which also has some good stuff, and get down here. Now, I don't know if the uh, the slimes will follow me. I hope they don't. It looks like, I don't know if you can see over there in the shadows, it looks like maybe that droid got killed by flames or something. Either way, I'm heading down. Oh, shoot. Uh, there's a trash pile over there. Ah, I got hit by the flames. Um, there's water. It's not actually water, it's like ooze and shit. That has hidden stuff in it. Well, and when I say hidden stuff, I, I mean like those gels. So, it's not really good to stop by them. Oh, and there's a cultist. Fantastic. I do want to spend some time healing up, though. We'll see if he... Uh, okay, he got killed by something. So I'm gonna try and heal here. Oh no. Maybe that droid will also get killed. Or maybe not. Um, I should bring this back. Oh god. See, I don't have any injectors. This was a dumb fucking idea. Uh, oh, electromagnetic... Yeah, dumbass. <laughs> okay, can we heal now? Only for a little bit. No, 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 you tricked me, you bastard. Oh, but there is a treasure chest over there. Okay. I'm gonna try and heal a little bit. Kill that thing. Whatever the fuck it was. An agle fly. 
something was shooting at me. And I died. God damn it. Nope, not this one. Okay, well... Fuck. So that thing was shooting me off screen, and apparently my dodge value does not help me at all. So I guess I probably should have picked up... Oh. Interesting. This appears to be exactly the same. So can I pick this up before these guys get close? No. <laughs> no is the answer to that. We will time dilate. Pick this up. Get hit by flames. Uh, yeah, that was a good move there. Juke the flame. And hide here. Okay. Something found me? No. Okay. Whew. No, 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 no. I didn't want to eat my yuck wheat stems. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's no good. Uh, yuck wheat stems are apparently one of the things you can eat to help prevent the glot rot. So I just ate both of them. Oh, fuck. Well, here, I'm gonna die again, so whatever, right? Yep, here we go again. Okay, well, this might actually be a very slow, very slow part of this Let's Play. Um, I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna turn off automatically eat. This means I will have to pay attention to that over there, but I will get to choose what I eat. Okay, so I'm going to hit time dilate again, pick this up. I probably shouldn't even be wasting my time dilate doing this. Oh, fuck. Forgot the timing on that one. So I could actually step into the ooze and the gel, but like I said, doing that can sometimes trigger a monster, and that monster is what will knock me into the water, possibly give me the glot rot, and rust my shit. Maybe we'll make it to that frickin' thing. 27 cooldown. Electromagnetic pulse probably does not help against those things. I'm extremely disappointed my very high dodge value does not protect me from this shit. We're just gonna book... Down... There we go. Okay. Am I gonna be safe over here? Probably not. Oh fuck, he followed me. He followed me. Um, they all followed me. What bullshit is that? That's fucking bullshit. Electromagnetic pulse on. That fucking thing can shoot, and that really sucks. That is totally not cool. Okay, this time I will not be wasting time to uh, pick up those very useful bits of uh, equipment there because that allows me or prevents me rather from using my time dilate and that is not something I want because in order to survive this bullshit I'm gonna have to use it god those things are fucking fast Okay, getting hit by the flames at this point would not be wise. Uh, I see, I don't... Those, those walls up there, it's hard to tell what color they are. Whew. I think I'm going to get hit. There we go. 
Yes, I will take those. Shit, I got hit by that fly. Oh, that is not cool. That is such bullshit. You can't fucking stop. Ah! Okay. Maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just not a high enough level for this place. I guess clearly all these things are, are traps, but, uh, when I went through here with that Trukin character, I did not have nearly this much trouble. And maybe it really is just a matter of fact that I can't go through here without some armor, because, I mean, th fuck, that's crazy. Did I just get missed by the flame? Okay, we're here. We're going to time dilate. That did not stop that one. That's really shit. Agglefly hit me. I guess we're just going to have to keep booking down the conveyor belt. Okay. We're here. You can tell because over there is a scrapped way droid. Now, those things might still follow me. I'm going to save, if I can, and here they are. Oh, fuck. A gooey sewage eel, which is not good. And an agol fly, which again is not good. And I don't have time dilate. Ma electromagnetic pulse is not going to help me. I think I might be dead. Um, I'm going to back up. Scrap shoveler takes it damage from an acid. Okay. Um. God, what is this? It's a cultist. He's easy. He's got glot rot. So, or he might be able to give me glot rot, as the case is. Um, yes, level 5 is called the cloaca, you can see over there. And it doesn't look like I've been given the glot rot yet, which is good. Fuck. Um. Okay. What abilities do I have here? Nothing that really helps me. I basically have to stay and fight. Force wall. If I put force wall on that guy, I don't think it would actually, like... Maybe. I, th I think he can slip through it. So... I, I really have to be careful here, because I don't want to get poisoned by this guy. And that force wall means they'll just go around. He misses me. Hits me with bloody claws. Oh shit. Okay, now we'll try the electromagnetic pulse. I got hit. I'm still getting hit. What? Why is the... Ag what the fuck is going on there? Should he not be dead? I'm still getting hit by something. So, they're sitting on top of each other? What bullshit is that? Well, I, either way, I'm, I'm pretty much dead. Uh, I cannot get away from these guys, and, uh... I mean, I could take this Uber Nostrum injector. I really don't want to do that, because that is just too valuable. Can I actually make one of my own at this point? I cannot. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I'm dead. I, th I think I'm dead. He's, he's fine. I mean, that's how little damage I did. That is so bullshit that they follow you down. I mean, uh, I guess it makes sense, but when you go downstairs, not everything can follow you down. So, that, uh, that fucking sucks. I can't do this the way I am right now. I have to go back 
to Joppa. Which is bullshit. And uh, I've got to I've got to get something better. Because I I at the very least I need to pick up all of the um I'm gonna turn back on automatically eat because otherwise we're gonna suffer for that. Uh, at the very least I need to pick up something so I can have some injectors, because otherwise we're just screwed there. Um, activate. What do you mean nothing happens? Okay, I guess we're removing the cell, and ah oh shit, I put that bow, I put that bow back in, didn't I? Ah oh, fuck. Can I, can I refill this? No. Fuck. Okay, it's going to be a long walk back to Joppa then. Alright, we're back in Joppa. I actually managed to go back to the, uh, the cave and go get my electro bow, pull the cell out of it, and, um, and do it that way. So I'm gonna have to get some of this stuff. Okay, I think I'll need to take those. So basically, I'm out of food. Um, I will get this. Uh, the dreadroot tubers. I'll get all of my trade goods as well. So can I... Can I make this thing right now? I can. Okay. So I can only make two because I've only got two of the phasic power systems. I'll probably want to get some more. I'm going to put in... Seriously, how do you do just a little bit? Like, how do I not take all of these? Because if I have to make more, I want to be able to make more. I guess I can take them as, as possible food, yeah. So I, I ran out of food. There was no way I could actually walk back to Joppa because I was starving. So um, I've got giant centipede corpse as my only food right now. Well, okay, I've got the crab legs. Anyway, it's not good. It's not good at all. So we need to definitely grab all of that, grab all of that. Compass bracelet, I have one. I'm going to get rid of only one of those Isakari banners. Eventually, I might actually want to use the, uh, the banner because it's got a heat thing. So maybe sometime later in the game, that will come in handy. I need... There's a weird artifact that is worth a lot of money. That makes me curious. Um, do you have anything like an injector? You do have one salve injector. I'll take that. Okay. So we need to come up with a little bit more. That's too much more. That's too much more. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. Holy shit, just act, just those alone? That's too much, because I've got too many of them. I've got five of them. You know what, that'll be a lot, and then I can get some water. Um, yes, offer. You will have to pony up some water. I will take it. Damn it. Okay, uh, get me out of here. So let's try and fill this up. What, what's going on? Did I not... Did I die? I mean, what's going on here? I've got Tinker 1, and this says I can fill up a cell. So why can't I have the option to... fill that up? It's because it's actually an ability. Yes, recharge cell. Uh, that one. Okay, yes. Good. Good. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I want. I'll, I'll recharge the other one too while I've got it. Got that. Uh, okay, so now I've got two full cells. Which is great. I've also got a used cell in the Joppa recoiler. I'll wait until that one's a little bit worse off. Uh, I may want to pick up some of this fresh water. Let's pour that into another container. Pour that into that one. And that's good. Okay. 
I've got 51. That's probably enough. Let's go over to what's-his-face and see if he's got anything. What's going to suck here is that I just picked up a bunch of food. I'm going to eat a lot of it getting back to Golgotha. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Well, I mean, he does. I guess I can trade for that. Trade for some of that. Rubber gum injector. He's also got a desert rifle. He's got a freeze ray. I doubt I could come up with that much. Yeah, I'd have to start giving away pretty much all of my stuff. Darn. I can get the desert, desert rifle thing, but I don't have rifle proficiency. I've only got the handgun proficiency, so that would not be wise to do at all. Crap. Crap and crap and crap. Okay. Well, I could take more of his goods over here. You know, I could take all this. give him the box of crayons and take away one of those? I'd have to give up a, a dram of water? Yeah, okay. I think that'll be worth it. Two drams, really. Well, I've, I've got a chest full of water, so that's okay. Okay, so now I should have quite a bit more pieces. Wow, 46, it said. 46 scrap metal. Good. But I unfortunately didn't get anything really important. So I can make a bunch of thermal grenades, which might actually be helpful against the boss. Oh, freeze grenades. I've got one in my... one in my pocket. A black puma haunch. Hmm. What else do I have back in here? Okay. I can pick up some more water. Maybe I'll pick up uh, yeah, I'll grab this one, because we do have to trek all the way back. There's nothing in there anymore, and there are two Gershling corpses, which I shall take. Puts me over my weight, but we'll start eating some stuff. I'd really rather eat those first. So maybe I will have... Maybe I'll turn off the, the eating thing again. And just eat these corpses on the way there. Not a f not. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to eating the Gerslin corpses. I hope they don't poison me or something. But anyway, oh God. So there there weren't any poison resist anything's, and uh, I just gave away all of the armor. I I'm gonna put this banner back in here. So we can't uh, rely on that, unfortunately, because. 13 dodge, I guess, is not enough to even dodge those freaking flies. I don't know how much armor I would need, but I think I probably need a bit more. I could make a return back to one of those places I went. Because I know I did leave some areas with just a, a ton of junk. So it wasn't like I left anything good back there. But even wearing a ring mail that I just traded would have been... I don't know, maybe I'll meet something on the way back up there. Ah, oh, God. This place sucks. It really sucks. Okay, I'll end this one here, and next time we will return to that hellhole. See you then.